Hey everybody, this is another Wired Wednesday, where the only thing wired are the hosts. Hello everyone. Casey's got a, got our product today to show you. Uh, yes, uh, today, um, if anyone uh, watches our podcast, I talk a lot about World of Warcraft and stuff like that. I'm a huge gamer. Um, when it comes to gaming, uh, there's a lot of online programs like Mumble, uh, Discord's getting very popular these days. You have to talk to people to coordinate stuff, you know, playing video games and everything. So like this that. is like the voice chat thing you yes. guys use. Okay. Um, I've actually have not been a big fan of Logitech back in the day. I've used a lot of Razer products. Uh, I'm coming to find that Logitech has really stepped up their game. I am very happy with this product. There's a couple things, you know, it's a little, you know, uh, strange, but you know, Razer I'm finding is very cheap, very cheap products. I've uh, recently also bought a Logitech mouse, gaming mouse. It's very durable. I really like it. So I, uh, my headset just recently broke, uh, I'd say about a week ago. So I looked into their headsets, Logitech, and it's the G933. Um, so we'll just get a little picture of it here for you. Um, so what do they call it? The Artemis Spectrum. Yes. G933. Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, it's my first wireless headset. I should have bought long, one a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, because you're last. You should have seen Casey's last wired wired headset. Oh, it looked, you know, the old telephone cords that are all coiled up. Yeah. Well, this thing looked like a telephone cord that was chewed by the dog. Yeah, it was very bad. And I'm like, I am done with wires. And it it's when you buy wireless stuff, it's a little bit more pricey. But I'm telling you right it's now, worth it. it is so worth it. Mouses and keyboards, eh. Because with mouses and keyboards, if it dies, you forget to charge it in the middle of something, you're going to piss off your friends. <laughs> it isn't isn't like a gaming mice always wired because the wireless ones have a latency issue? Yes. And, and there's another thing. There's a lot of pro gaming that's getting more popular these days, and they don't use wireless mouses because of latency issues, especially with first-person shooters that, you know, every second counts. So I, I do recommend wireless headsets. I do, do not, on the other hand, recommend wireless keyboards, mouses, if you want to, you know play your video games and everything like that so uh no, yeah this isn't just for video games though. no and that's another thing why we wanted to cover this you can hook this up to your home entertainment system if you want uh say you're watching a live tv show and you can't you know you have to do something quick you can pop this headset on tr flip the button and it works for your home entertainment while you go and get a snack or something like that well how does it connect uh it ca connects with a usb like mini sound card and i'll show you guys here real quick i thought this was really cool it's it's basically so you don't have to forget about it or you don't have to have a little loose piece. Oh, this box. Yeah, move that box real quick. So yeah, still here it frame, is. But um, on each side, there's these little panels that you can have that ha that it has. Um, on this side is where the little mini sound card is. I thought this was really cool. Um, so you don't have to, you know, have this little piece floating around. But you pop it out. And then you plug this into your USB computer, and it that's how it sends the signal. You see that? Yes. It's oh. very it's very small. It's very cool. I thought it was cool that they put it in the headset. So what's up with the little uh, three and a half millimeter jack there? Uh, if you want to plug you know a wire into it, if you're if you want to go don't want to go wireless, you can. Oh, you know, so you could connect this with a wire. Yes, yes, you can. So how would this connect to a TV, or is this only going to work on like a smart TV that on has a, a USB? Yeah, yes, on a smart TV with a USB. Okay, so if you're using an HTPC or something mm -hmm. like that, this will work for that. But you're not going to be able to take this and plug it into a, a standard like, yeah, one Toshiba of those, TV. Yeah, one of those TVs with the big wooden cases around them from the fifties. <laughs> but but it will work on a smart TV that has an operating system. There. Yes, it's very compatible with that. And then on the other side, I like this too. If you have problems with the battery. Instead of, you know, uh, buying a whole new headset, you can replace the battery. Oh, and thank God for usable repl uh, user I, replaceable batteries. I know. Ever since the iPhones came out, they, the phones have been straying away from that, and they've just been – you can't take the batteries out. I'm so glad that this is like this. Yeah, because, I mean, lithium-ion batteries are great, but they do have a finite yes. shelf life. Yes, and um, – I, I just think that's great because, you know, it shows that they're not just money hungry. You know, they care about the product a little bit. And um, it is a little big. Um, when I first opened it and everything like that, I was like, wow, this is a pretty big headset. But it's the – you can't feel it. I don't know. It's not really that heavy. Um, yeah, I held it. It's very lightweight. Yes. And when you put it on your head, you can barely feel it's on there. Um, it's a little big. The on switch is here. Uh, you also have macro keys. Like, say you want – I don't know, Internet Explorer to pop up. You hit one of those keys and it will pop up. <laughs> and those are user pro user programmable. Yes. yes. Uh, there's also a mute button and then the volume key. 
Uh, this volume key is like a small thing to have a problem with. It is very touchy. I've uh, sometimes went to scratch the back of my head and I bump it and it turns my volume up to like 100. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so it, is, it a, is it a wheel? Yes, it's okay. a wheel. It is very touchy though. That's like one of the problems I have with this. Actually, probably the only one I have is the wheel is very, very touchy. So please be careful with that. Don't, don't you know, deafen yourself. Um, it does come with a wire. So um, this thing lets you know what's going on. <laughs> like this thing, if something's going on with this thing, it lets you know. Um, when it's dying, it makes a beeping noise every like, uh, I think, 30 seconds to let you know it's dying. Right there, you can plug it in. Uh, to recharge or whatever like that, I just keep it in my thing. What is it? What does it take for recharging? USB, mini USB. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So mini. So like a standard cell yes. phone charger. Um, right here is the microphone. You pop. It pops down like that. So you don't always have to have it out. If you're not talking, you just want to listen to music. You can just pop it out, and uh, it lets you know when your microphone's on because when you press that down, it makes a beeping noise. I like that. It's very responsive. <laughs> it wants to let you know what's going on, and I like that. So here's the real question, though: How does it sound? It sounds amazing. <laughs> like good I, bass, good, yes, good high range, very good ranges. bass. How I actually found out about this is I went to BlizzCon a couple years ago and they were trying out the new expansion set. Well, you had to wait in line, and when you got to line, these were the headsets they were using for it. Okay. And Lincoln Park was playing at the same time. I didn't hear any Lincoln Park. <laughs> that is a bonus. <laughs> yes. That it, is an extra added bonus if you can avoid hearing Lincoln Lincoln Park yes. at any given moment. This it's probably the best quality I've ever heard on a headset and like i've said i've been very very happy with this headset it and, is amazing and i see it says it's 7.1 surround sound which yes. is obviously is impossible for it to be real but mm -hmm. they obviously uh have put some some technology in there to kind of simulate that that yes. that surround sound yes. feel and uh yeah it's not gonna so work so when you're playing your game like stop see <laughs> <laughs> so when you're playing your games and uh like things are going on behind you can you like tell what's going on behind you not really. <laughs> no. It's like virtual reality for your ears. I, I love it. I've 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 never I've never been so happy with Logitech things. Like I said, I bought the mouse. I'm very happy with uh, the mouse. Logitech makes good stuff. I yeah. mean, there's some things that I've had that have been a problem with the, with Logitech. I had a Harmony 200 remote control. I wasn't real happy with that, mm -hmm. but um, that was the cheapest one they make. So Exactly, and, and that's the thing. I have used to have problems with Logitech, and it was when I was buying the cheaper stuff. Like uh, I used to buy their headsets, but it wasn't their gaming headsets. It was like the $30 ones you got at Walmart. They were pretty bad quality, but I think you know they're starting to step up their game. They're starting to realize... You know what's going on and everything and actually if i'm looking at this picture correct i just figured something out the mic can extend <laughs> so you didn't know that i, could I didn't that. know that that is pretty freaking cool all right and I so we big, learned something new yeah and i have a big nose so i should probably use that yeah i was looking at the picture here and you can see that it extends i was like oh i didn't know it could do that well i mean logitech does make some good things i bought a uh, logitech uh uh, wingman game control mm -hmm. years and years and years ago uh that that thing lasted me like 10 years before i finally just destroyed it yeah but uh we use we use logitech stuff here we have uh our camera is a c920 mm -hmm. uh logitech webcam which as you can see the video quality is pretty good yeah finally you know we've had some video problems and everything like that so it's it's nice to have a nice reliable camera and it's just nice to see logitech like getting into gaming and everything uh, even HP, you know, is getting into gaming. They're starting to build gaming rigs and everything. And being a huge gamer, I I love this stuff. I love I love seeing exciting things like this. And um, well, I'm not a gamer, but I'm a media guy. Yeah. I love movies, television. Mm -hmm. um, something like this would actually be nice for me because uh, sometimes uh, I'm up later than the rest of the family because I'm a guy, and for some reason we all do that. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll be staying up and I'll be watching cheesy action movies, and yeah. you just want to hear all them explosions and shit going on. Uh, when Michael Bay's got shit, uh, fruit, fruit stands are blowing up. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear that. You want to feel that punch. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I have a nice uh, compromise. I had to do a 2.1 uh, system instead of a... 7.1 surround sound because uh, my wife didn't want the wires running through the walls. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I can't have that bass, that subwoofer going at night. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to have something like this so I could sit there and enjoy that movie. And, and when, as lightweight as they are, I can't imagine these would uh, really bother you, even if you were sitting there for a 90-minute movie. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, uh, Razer headsets, other headsets, like my last one with the wire all tangled was a Turtle Beach. After a while, for some reason, I think it's my left ear, it gets really sore. These, I have no problem with that. I keep these on, and I'm just golden. They're, and, and that's the thing. I was like, wow, I picked them up, and I'm like, these are really big. You know, they look uncomfortable. 
most comfortable headset I've ever worn. Like I said, um, very, very proud that I bought this. A little pricey. Uh, you can get them around 140 bucks, um, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny. You know, s break open that piggy bank. You you'll be happy. Trust me. So 140 bucks. It's yes. definitely on the the high end of of, mm -hmm. of pricey for me. Uh, I have a lot to justify that, but I mean, if there is comfortable and you can sit there and watch a 90 minute movie without a headache, uh, that's my biggest problem. I hate headphones. I cannot do earbuds. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I and wear that's these the big thing. old my cans ears here. Get but... sore and I'm just like, oh man, is right over yet? I got to get these headset off, but these I just don't mind. I'm very happy with them. Like I said, the, the... They, they're, they're very squishy. The yes. pads are very comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're they're um, fabric as opposed to like fake leather. Like uh, the the headset I use here for recording mm -hmm. has the the fake leather, and that gets sticky and hot against your ears. Yeah, but you don't have that problem with this. Mm -mm. So it's about 140 bucks. You say, can you get that on Amazon? Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. Um, they even sell them on New Egg. Uh, I got these at Best Buy because it was sort of emergency. <laughs> they were they were like, we can't hear you. Got a raid, dog. Yeah, we can't hear you in Discord. It's not the same. I'm like, I'll get a new headset. Um, yeah, and I just it's very the sound of quality is amazing. Like anyone that's played like World of Warcraft and anything, when you hit a spell especially if you're like a melee class when that sword hits that thing it's like boom and you're like oh it's very satisfying it's like when you're playing a warrior or something it feels like you're really you know attacking the target it's, so it's it's, it, it's punchy it's yes, loud it's, it's very rewarding when you're playing something like first person shooters when you're unloading the clip into someone it feels like you know scarface <laughs> all right so i like to rate things on uh, on here out of five okay. five stars what do you what do you say on this Four and a half out of five. Four and a half out of five. What are you knocking the 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 one the just, half star off of? Just just the uh, the buttons. It's it's not only when I said about the um the thing uh the, the scroll volume. wheel. Yeah, it's not just that. It's also the buttons. I find myself constantly hitting them, um, constantly churning the wheel. That's the only bad part. But if you don't care about that stuff, it's it's not really that big of a deal. I'm very impressed with this. Uh, like I said, four out of five. It's it's worth the money. It really is. And I've only had it for, I'd say, about three weeks now. I'm hoping I get, you know, the long run out of it. And that's also what I base it off of. So maybe I'll bring this up on another wide Wednesday of how long it's been lasting. Yeah, uh, durability is a big deal if yes, it doesn't it last for me. a while. Exactly, yeah. Uh, while we're on here, uh, there's some uh, news in the Cody realm. Uh, for those of you who know me and uh, my website, Theaterverse, I'm a big fan of Cody, uh, the media center software. Um there's been a pretty big shakeup going on for those of you that are about the the illegal gray area streaming add-ons. There's one that out there called uh, called uh, Exodus, and uh, it used to be Genesis. It turned into Exodus, and uh, it was it was done by a developer called Lambda. They like Bible books. Yes, <laughs> uh, Lambda has retired, I guess. So somebody else is going to be taking over that, uh, which is good, I suppose. Although I will say. Um, the the whole the whole streaming thing, a lot of people are associating Cody with uh, with with the illegal streams, and uh, I don't even do that anymore. No, I I don't even need to. You know, if you use a back end software like a, a PVR back end, you can use it like a TiVo. There's no need to do any of that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not designed. Cody is not designed to be a pirate software, and it's given it a bad name. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you can look into it. Cody's a, a great thing to do. But, uh, yeah, be, be careful what you install because the reason that Lambda is stepping away is because he inserted some uh, malicious code that, that uh, was hitting the GitHub of another developer. And uh, it wasn't necessarily the, the, the best thing to do. But when you're installing add-ons from unapproved sources and Cody, that's the risk you run. So... Maybe don't buy one of those boxes you see out there that says Cody fully loaded <laughs> because that is a big piracy gateway mm -hmm. that's going to cause you nothing but problems. Stay above the law, kids. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, uh, you know, the, the laws of this world or this country or even this world weren't meant for technology yet. So I think we're still finding out, you know, what's legal, what's not. And I think we're going to run into a lot more problems, you know. Well, you know, when you, Cody is just a media player. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're, it's designed for your media. And if you use it to uh, pirate stuff that you haven't paid for and you're using shady websites and shady add-ons, you're going to have problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
stay above the law, kids. Go yeah. to go to Cody uh, Learn more about it and uh, and stay in school. Stay in school. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll see you guys all again on the next Wired Wednesday. Thank you. Have a good one.